Hello and welcome to Atomic Current. I'm Shadowcoast and welcome to the channel. Unless I'm being daft, I actually did not notice anywhere that outlined controls. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to review basic controls or commands for Atomic Heart using mouse and keyboard. Let's start with movement, which is pretty obvious. WASD, you will move around. Spacebar is jump. When you have a melee weapon, left mouse button is your basic quick attack. Race, right mouse button is your heavy attack. If you hold right mouse button down with a melee weapon, you can charge it up to do even more damage. Note that when you upgrade your weapons, you can select different types of secondary attacks with melee weapons. So right now I have the Swirling Whirlwind one equipped. All right, now let's think about a few other items. Here, F allows you to pick up objects to then throw. Holding down F allows you to charge up and then throw an object that's helpful for getting cameras and then hitting enemies with boxes. When you sneak up on enemies, um, if you want to, left control is crouch. This is helpful because if you sneak up on an enemy and then click F behind them, you can disable them. If you hold down F, it will allow you to loot, group loot quicker. I don't have a good example, but holding down left alt allows you to quickly loot a bunch of stuff at once. So always hold it down even when you're looting enemy bots that you've destroyed. Holding down F, you're going to get all the materials they have when doing that. Left alt. Left alt is your scan. You can tap it and it'll come up for a minute or you can hold it down if you want to keep it up. Um, so sometimes quick taps are the easiest way to go because it does kind of generate through. So keep that in mind. As I mentioned, left control is um, kneeling or crouch to kind of do stealth mode. Left shift when you click WASD allows you to dodge. This is extremely useful when you're fighting enemies you're going to see a little red indicator red circle around them you're going to want to dodge back left and right to avoid taking damage in the bottom left here you can see x is heal um, so we only have polymers right now so x we're going to heal i don't want to waste one right now but click x to heal um, which is really important z actually swaps between your polymers here you can see that i have my heals here i actually don't know what that thing is we picked it up um what is this this is a medium neuro med capsule versus a small so z switches between the two in the bottom um, from that perspective v is shock you're going to pick up and upgrade moves along the way i'm assuming that as we upgrade moves we're going to use different keys. I'm doing this fairly early game because it was super confusing. Uh, so keep that in mind. And then um, I'm trying to think. Let's switch to, to range weapons. Using the middle mouse button or 1, 2, and 3 um, or the num, num, you know, your one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can switch between weapons quickly or the mouse wheel. When you're having a range weapon, left mouse button is fire, right is aim, um, R is reload. So those are the basics. If you did go on to find this video helpful, please be sure to drop a thumbs up. And hope to see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.